Okay, so for question 17, we have a Zener diode, and we have a, a series resistor of 8 ohms, and then a variable load uh, resistance. And it's known that if this Zener diode is operating in the breakdown region, it, it has like a voltage of 12 volts between its terminals. And we know that it's properly working, it has those 12 volts, if the current IZ that's flowing through the diode it's between 10 milliamperes and 600 milliamperes. So then we have like three cases of load resistance. So the first case is 8 ohms, second case 24, and third case 400 ohms. Okay, so let's see how this analysis goes for all these three cases. Okay, so first um, we can apply a loop analysis and we basically figure out or like just like uh, Ohm's law here to figure out what's the value of this current I and another Ohm's law here to figure out what's the value of the current IL right and then we know that IZ or the Zener current it's going to be I minus IL right so this works for all three conditions so let's for, for let's see for the first case okay so i is equals to vs minus vz divided by rs so in this case for all three cases the the current flowing through these the, when we assume right so our first assumption is that the zener diode is on the breakdown region so it it has vz equals to uh, 12 volts so this current I, it's going to be always 12, 18, sorry, minus 12 divided by 8, which gives us uh, 750 milliamperes. Okay, that's that's the, the current for all three cases uh, on the first assumption. Now the load resistance, it will vary according to the load, res the, the load current will vary according to the load resistance. But in this case, it's going to be VZ divided by RL. So it's VZ divided by RL. Now, for one case, we have RL equals to 8. And in that case, we have 1.5. So it's 12. So let me just do it right here. So for the first case, A, IL will be... 12 divided by 8 that's 1.5 amperes for a second case it's going to be IL 12 divided by 24 that's equals to 0 0.5 amperes and for case C that would be IL equals to um, we have 12 divided by 400 right and that's equals to thirty million pierce okay now we know the value of I we know the value of IL we can calculate the value of IZ so IZ in the first case is so we have I times IL so it's going to be one sorry 750 milliamps minus 1.5 which gives us minus 750 milliamps for the second case IZ is equals to those I750 minus uh, 500 milliamps so this gives us 250 milliamps and for the third case I is equals to 750 minus 30 which is 720 sorry IZ it's 720 million pairs so let's analyze what's going on with the, each one of the cases so for the first case for the first case IZ spot is negative so it means that it's it, it would if the the Zener diode is actually on the current would be flowing in the forward direction right so in this case because it's a Zener diode it basically implies that the Zener is operating outside the range of the breakdown condition 
so implying that this inner diode is off so if this inner diode is off then the the voltage v out is just the voltage divider so it's just v out it's just the 18 volts that we have at the input times the load resistance which is 8 ohms divided by the series resistor plus the load resistance and this gives us a v out that is 9 volts because in this case this inner diode is just like an open circuit so there is no vz in that case right for the second case <clears throat> the inner current is 250 milliamperes <clears throat> and these 250 milliamperes are within the range of the correct operation for the inner diode from 10 to to 600 milliamperes that's given by the problem so in this case the current is flowing the uh, in the reverse direction the inner diode is actually operating is indeed operating in the breakdown region <clears throat> so vz is indeed 12 volts and the output voltage v out that we are measuring is exactly vz so v out is equals to 12 volts okay now in the third condition we still get a value of iz that is positive so it's actually going downwards it's going in the re reverse direction to to the designer diode so it is it is actually operating it's not it's it's not actually that's operating the breakdown region it's that it's operating in the breakdown region but with a value of current that it's higher than the maximum current allowed for the zener diode so in this particular case we are not sure if the zener diode is operating properly right so in this case we cannot define the a proper value of v out because we don't know if the zener diode is actually burn out because there is like more current that it's maximum current allowed we don't know if the value of the voltage vz would change for a higher current uh, than the maximum current from from the rating uh, stated by the problem so in this case v out can't be determined so we don't know the value because the Zener diode is operating in a region where we don't know what's what's happening. We don't know if it stopped working. We don't know if it if the voltage VZ has actually increased. So or like decreased. We don't know what's going on. So we can uh, accurately determine the value of V out. Okay. So that's it for this problem.